A man buys a parrot, only to have the parrot constantly insult him. He tries everything to make the parrot stop, but nothing works. The parrot is screaming and yelling insults and cussing him out. So frustrated, the man puts the parrot in a freezer. After a few minutes, the insults stop. The man thinks he may have killed his parrot, so he opens up the freezer and he takes the parrot out. The parrot is shivering. He stammers, sorry for being rude. Please forgive me, please. What exactly did the turkey do? <laughs> As we get ready to celebrate Thanksgiving, I want to talk about a verse in the Bible which has always caused me to struggle a little bit. And if I struggle with it, perhaps you do too. So that's why I'm bringing the whole thing up. It's a fitting verse for thanksgiving, giving thanks. And it's a reasonable sounding verse. But when it comes down to practical application, well, like I said, I struggle a little bit. The verse is a simple five word verse. It's found in 1 Thessalonians 5.18. And here are the five simple words. Give thanks in all circumstances. Beautiful, simple. And it sounds reasonable, right? Give thanks in all circumstances. Yep, simple. Very difficult to put into action. I don't need to tell you how easy it is to find thanks and gratitude when things are going well in our lives. You wake up one morning refreshed, the sun is shining, you have an exciting day ahead of you. Give thanks, no problem. It's your birthday. You wake up, give thanks, yay! Another morning, you wake up. It's a day you're looking forward to. Something exciting is going to happen. Everything in your life seems to be going so well. You aren't feeling out of sorts in any way. Yay, give thanks. But when it's a different kind of morning, another morning of sadness, another gloomy day of physical pain or mental suffering, a day when you remember how your friend betrayed you or your mind replays the loss of that loved one repeatedly, give thanks for those things? No way. How can I give thanks in those terrible times of pain and suffering? In all circumstances, give thanks? Seriously, no. The other day, ju just out of curiosity, I did a little research about that verse. I read some commentaries and explanations about what that verse is supposed to mean, and I discovered that most people seem to believe that the reason we are supposed to give thanks in all circumstances is because we can trust God, because God has it all under control. Well, that opens up another can of worms for me because I could go on for days about whether or not I believe God is in charge and every single action I take is predetermined or whether or not I have free will. And what does all of that actually mean? Whatever you believe regarding God's will and free will is your own business, and you are welcome to believe it. But I don't really want to get into that today, and that certainly muddies up the issue of how I am going to give thanks in all circumstances. So I did my own thinking about this. And I came up with some, th some theories. Perhaps there are several other factors to this issue. Perhaps I don't instantly and automatically say, thanks. I am really glad that the meniscus tears in my knee caused me to be unable to walk. But instead, 
I do feel incredible gratitude that things weren't worse. That things weren't worse. I am remarkably humbled and grateful that I was able to have surgery and had a wonderful recovery. I was in a wheelchair for a month, but I am able to walk now. Maybe that is how we give thanks in all circumstances. When I think of all the difficult moments that have happened in my life, there is not one single moment in which I have ever been able to immediately think of thanking God for what just happened. In most of those difficult moments, however, I have been able to pretty quickly feel some level of gratitude that things weren't worse. What about you? Right now, you are thinking over some of your most difficult moments. Right now, this moment, you are remembering, or perhaps for the first time, finding some gratitude that things weren't worse. Here's another thought. Perhaps the thanks that we are to give in all circumstances means finding the good in the situation. Back to the story of my knee surgery. Because I had to wait 30 days for the surgery while I was confined to a wheelchair in order to get around, I realized a lot about being in a wheelchair. I developed a genuine understanding and compassion for others who are not mobile. I recognized how much I took my own mobility for granted. I now have incredible respect for anyone who is in a wheelchair, who, who needs walking assistance, or who is dependent on others for their care. I would say it was really good for me to realize those things. So there is some good tucked down in that painful situation for me. When my father died, when I was just 37 years old, I was angry. I felt like I had been robbed. My favorite parent was taken away. My hero was gone. And although my father's passing was a huge loss for my immediate family, there was actually some good that came out of that. The relationship between my mother and I altered immediately. We grew closer than we had ever been. And until her death, I felt that I was able to have a relationship with my mother that if my father had lived longer, would not have happened. Now, make no mistake, I'm not saying I'm glad I lost my father when I did. I am not saying that it was a great or even good thing that happened. I am just suggesting that there was at least one beautiful, good thing that came from that loss. Am I able to give thanks for that event? Mm, not yet but I am thankful that I had a better relationship with my mother and I am thankful that things weren't worse. Except in those very difficult moments of death and loss, I think we might get closer to being able to give thanks in all circumstances, especially when we consider that things could have been worse, especially when we think about the good that came out of the situation. Here's my last thought on those five words. Maybe just by talking about this topic today, and even by just broaching the ridiculous notion of giving thanks in all circumstances, even the difficult times, just maybe, our perspective on giving thanks in general might change. We have all had the experience where we suddenly gain perspective on the slight inconveniences of our lives 
in comparison to the tragic experiences that we endure. Maybe when we start training our brains and our hearts to find the good that comes from everything that happens to us, we begin to develop far more generous hearts with wider, deeper gratitude. And then, when we have wider, deeper gratitude, we grow stronger and more compassionate. And then, when we grow stronger and more compassionate, the smaller things just don't bother us like they used to. Maybe that's the whole point of that verse. Author William Arthur Ward has written, Gratitude can transform common days into thanksgivings, turn routine jobs into joy, and change ordinary opportunities into blessings. Sometimes we just forget to give thanks, even when it's one of the great days, when things are going well. One of my favorite Bible stories is the story of the ten lepers. The story goes like this. There were 10 people who had the dreaded disease of leprosy, and they were standing by the edge of a village as Jesus walked by. Jesus looked at them and then told them to go show themselves to the priests. And as they walked, they became cleansed of the disease. Jesus had healed them. Of course, the former lepers were excited. Of course, they were now really happy to be clean. Now they could rejoin their friends and their family, and they could be welcomed back inside the village instead of hanging out on the corner being shunned. One of the lepers turned back and thanked Jesus. Only one of them. Jesus was a little miffed. Were not ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one else going to return and thank God but this one? It's a great story that shows human nature. We get excited. We are relieved. We feel really, really appreciative, but we're also really busy. And sometimes... We forget to say thanks. Sometimes we start to, and then the moment passes. This Thanksgiving, let's try to remember to say it to the family members around the table, to our friends who have stood by us, and to God for loving us. We might not always be able to quickly give thanks in all circumstances, but on this Thanksgiving. Let's give thanks for as many of those circumstances as we can. Let's practice thinking about how it could have been worse. Let's find the gratitude in that. Let's practice finding the good in as many circumstances as we are able. Let's give thanks for what we can this Thanksgiving. Amen.